my class. I'm your instructor, Skylar Huff. So welcome to Introduction to Biology 1, or Bio 101. So during this course, what you'll be doing is gaining a better understanding of biology. So it's part of a two-course sequence, and it's designed for non-science majors. So you'll go through historical studies, and we'll begin with the first chapter in the scientific method, and of course get into cellular structure, bioenergetics, and then cell reproduction with Mendelian genetics, and then end things with a survey of human organ systems. So there is a lab included, and that is a 120-minute lab that is also going to be online. So let's get first things first out of the way. I hope by now you've at least seen the course syllabus and outline. But if you have not, it's there posted at Canvas, and please do see the syllabus and take time to read the syllabus. Here what I'll do is I'll briefly overview the syllabus. So of course, my contact information is there, my email address as well as telephone number, and if you happen to be near campus here in Bayonet, Alabama, you can certainly stop by any time. What I'll also state is that if at any time you need to contact the department chairperson, his name is Matt Wilford, and his contact information can also be found on the first page of the syllabus. So what I'll now get to is going to be ADA information. So if, in fact, you require any accommodations provided by the Americans with Disabilities Act, please know that you should self-identify via email or even by stopping by in person here in my office. Otherwise, I'll get on to assignments, ensure that all assignments are turned in via turnin.com, excluding those tests and excluding lab, and then, of course, excluding the given discussion assignments. Otherwise, please make sure all assignments are completed on time, and being on time is be before that 11.59 p.m. deadline for the assignments that are given. The next thing I'll get to is going to be about the class examination policy. Of those tests that are given, please keep in mind that if you happen to miss one test, that your final exam will replace the one test you've missed. So if you make an A on the final, you have an A for that test you've missed. If you happen to miss two tests or more, the final exam would only replace one of two or one of two or more tests, and the other tests would be zeros. And from here, I'll get on down to the last day to withdraw. So the last day to withdraw from this course is July 25th, 2018. That is a Wednesday. Now I'll get on to how the course is structured in a, in a, in a brief way. First things first, there are five tests worth 80 points. Then there is the final exam worth 200 points. We have 12 labs. They are worth 20.8 points apiece. And then you have the syllabus quiz, which you all should complete here pretty soon. I would say complete it this week if you have the time. Thereafter, there are six homework assignments worth five points each. And that includes the entire overview of each of those modules. And then, of course, are six discussion posts with at least three, I repeat, with at least three replies. So six posts with three replies each. And then there is the final genetics presentation. Here I'm looking at the tentative semester schedule. So in your first module, please make sure you see everything that is due. So that does indeed include your discussion post and replies with those two chapters you'll see there. And of course, I have those three listed lab activities that go right along with it. In the meantime, let's get back to the course overview and not focus so much on the first module. So what you should next get done is the downloading of the Lockdown Browser. That is also linked there in Canvas in the overview module. Thereafter, you should take the syllabus quiz, as I've mentioned, and yes, it does require a webcam. Nextly, make sure you get your discussion post for this module, and it does say course introduction, so you should introduce yourself, and of course, make sure that you do the appropriate reply. And then there is the McGraw-Hill Connect, so make sure you get the McGraw-Hill Connect, and I say that because that's the way in which labs are done. And even if you have yet to purchase the book, you'll be given a complimentary seven-day trial of that to, of course, ensure you get your work done, and of course, give your book time to arrive if it has not ar arrived already. Thereafter is the lab introduction, in which I walk you all through your very first lab. And with that being said, this is everything I plan to give. I look forward to this semester with you over the summer. And just keep in mind that it is a bit condensed, but yet and still you have enough time to complete all the work. I recommend you complete a little bit of work each day, or at least get all of your work done. 
on a certain day of the week along with another day of the week and another day of the week. So that's about three to four days of the week. Get your work done so that by Sunday at 11.59 when the work is due, it is all done and submitted, including all your discussion posts and replies to, of course, your classmates. If I can ever help, please let me know. Do not hesitate. I'm here to help you. And if I need to make more videos, hey, just let me know that too. Thank you all again, and have a great semester here. Enjoy your day.